my squad of Universal Legends, and today I will be doing a video because I was asked by Das Sol Silberg, I hope I pronounced that wrong, right, and I didn't butcher it, on how to, a video on how to make small advanced candies. Now, I don't know how small it is, so I'm just going to assume you mean, like, not too tall, or maybe you mean like two, like two, what was it called, the two axis turrets, you might mean that. Now, I know I'm just checking this for something else because I got a mod where he added this thing back in because honestly, as much as I love the new refinery, it's much more balanced. I'm just, I just like that old refiner. But anyways, back to what we're doing. So, because you said small, I'm also going to assume that means, well, actually, let's do a two barrel. Two, not six. And that should be long enough of a barrel length. So, first things first. If we're doing small, and you're doing two, depending on how you want to do it, you're either going to go max gauge, which I will not. I'm going 150. Desired shell gauge. You change that here. I believe I showed that in my first video on the channel. Which, surprisingly, is my second most viewed video, only topped by the Missile mod, I believe. It's quite weird, and I hope, I hope you can't hear anything in the background. But if you do, well, it's gonna be hard to, it would be hard to get that out. And post. And I did grab the right clock to begin with. So, we're just going to Actually, I kind of forgot how to do this in a little bit. Also, sorry for the lack of videos, just after doing that long called wild thing, my friend got his computer back, so we've just been playing Terraria for the last 30 hours. So I had, needless to say, I had a little time to record, and I'm just getting some time now. So, once again, since you're doing small, I'm just going to assume you mean not too high a fire rate. And if you do, then I'm going to use the two meter. However, there will, I could, if I do this that way, I could get more on there. Okay, then I'm, actually, I'm just not going to build on this side then. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the ammo ejectors on this. So if it gets destroyed, it actually can shoot that ammo out. And I think I put them in the wrong one. Yeah, I did. I forgot that matters with these as well. So auto loaders, ammo clips, solid clips. We got two. And just some ammo input and I just realized that might well if the ammo clip got destroyed then it's gonna shoot out of here anyways so that like I said that might not be what we want right now so I will probably have to end up putting because these are so useful but the way I built my ship just letting something like that out into the ship would definitely destroy the internals so it's better off to just armor up around it in my scenario now for your case scenario probably be better to actually use these and these in the front will not have it and I just realized that I don't have a mantle on the tip of this which wouldn't be a problem if it was a one length barrel but since this is the four length barrel yep and I have to get rid of this. Practicing for so long. Still doesn't remember to put a mantle on it. So I think it was like two four meter barrels and hit the forest. Or it was more. And I'm going to and since this is small and not too heavy. Once we get this reloaded, I'm probably gonna make that like a shotgun like thing. Now for the I can't put an AI there, so 
This is actually going to go in front of it then. Sorry, I hit the mic on accident. For this one, I'm going to try the two axis turret, if this is what they meant by small. And this one's going to be much, much tighter. This is going to be like those old fashioned advanced cannons before you put them under the hull, like all in the box, original event, like event, original custom cannon style. Now, simple thing, mantle. Let's only go with the two meter tall since this, actually, since this is, well, it can tilt down, so that's fine. And this one is going to be the same gauge. So, and it's also going to be two. Actually, this one's going to be three, so I don't remember. Can three get 150 gauge? Ooh, that sounded. Hope the mic didn't make that sound too bad. I have like a head, like the new headphones I got with this mic, and the only problem with it is it doesn't stay down. So, now this one, however, is going to use one meter shells so auto loaders belt fed and actually now that I think about it these are going to be regular auto loaders on the side how am I gonna place this so that they line up or will I just have to, I guess I'll just have to change these then because I don't quite know how I'd put it on there also, remember, whenever you're not building on a fortress, make some room for the hydraulic recoil absorbers. Because when you're on a ship, unless it's extremely huge or doesn't have that much recoil, it's going to go flying. But gauge splitter. Gauge increase. Let's, yeah, actually. I think that would be fine. Because it shouldn't drag against the ground, if I remember correctly. How ah uh, that's the problem though. If I do that, then yeah, it's not going to be fine. So have this go over. Yeah, we're going to use up a lot of space until we for this. So gauge increase. Actually, how do I want to do this? So this honestly just became a bunch of gauge increasers so what can we do here this will probably just this is just going to become two gauges because I feel like that will be more effective and then we get the third gauge in ah okay so these will no longer connect that's right so now we have more space back here for this one so we're just going to put one more and put these here for coolers. And I would make that a bit more stylistic, but this is just a basic tutorial. So hope that doesn't bother you too much. And after I place these, I will let these reload. So for they're both going to use the same type of shells, it's just, actually, they're both the same gauge, aren't they? So yeah, they're both going to use the same type of shell, one's just going to be a bit more compact than the other. How am I going to do this? Well, I'll just have to see. So I will cut back once they are both done reloading. Welcome back, and they are both done reloading. So, the obvious thing would be first turn off the test bench because Lord knows the test bench will kill us. And let's let's try this small advanced candidate. It just spawned. How did it already attack? And something's already wrong. Controlling one weapon, zero of these can aim at the current target. I mean, it's not like you shouldn't, unless you should be able to see it. Yeah, that wasn't the right thing. Or was I? Game configuration. Yeah, you can see it. 
And why is why is the test bench? Oh. Let's try that again. Turning on the wrong thing. And these are just I would not recommend using this one. Not because it's bad. Well it is bad, but if you replaced more of these cooler with autoloaders, then it'd be fine, but so do as I say, not as I do so situation. But as you can see, it still managed to kill it. I mean, it's a marauder, but still it managed to kill it, so and with that out of the way, wrong button. Let's just get rid of that real quickly. Move it up here. Right here, right? Just, whatever. I'm just gonna because I really need that to be connected. Give me one second. Well, it don't need it to because of the already thing, but the thing's already seen, but you know. But this one, even though I don't think it can, this would be a small ship use something against like a flying squirrel that's fast and nimble. Just probably want something smaller than this. More than likely want something. So yeah, let's not test that against the flying squirrel. Let's test that out once again against another Marauder. Because, yeah, there's no way that thing's taking out a fire. As you can see, that one fire is a bit more sustained. And it does moderate damage, so it would be able to take out a squirrel. I would recommend putting an eternal fuse in there, however. But yeah, that's just the small advanced game of tutorial. Like the video if you liked it and dislike it if you disliked it tell me what i could do better just back it away so you don't have to hear that um check out the discord the link will be in the description and as always thank you so much for watching